we're going to show you here today is an example of the same tools and same procedures we would do, whether we were doing a fire at a location, a fire on the stage. In this case, we've used this car uh, in previous uh, testings and uh, R&D, if you will. Uh, this is a good candidate to show you some how we would set fire levels and how we will set eventually a fire a fireball to represent an explosion. So at this point, I've got pilot sources on both pipes. So I can call Bill up now at this point and say, let's set a level. I'll make sure that everything's working well. So Bill, go ahead and crack your uh, front pipe. We can set a level from that point. So if stunts and we're working together, they'll say, well, how big is big? We can start bringing it up to a value. So in this case, we we're going to want more than that. The director would like to want more than that. So Bill, come up a bump. Come up one more bump. That's a pretty good size fire. Knowing that, we're good on that valve control. We'll save your fire. We'll set a level on the back pipe as well now. So go ahead and crack your rear pipe. That's pretty close. Come up just one more bump, maybe. All that good. So go ahead and save that. Next thing we do is look at them as a collection. Sometimes we're doing an exterior fire where we won't have one firebox in a window. We might have 26. We need to look at them all together at some point. So in this case, we'll look at both fires together, and then we'll move forward from that. So we'll go ahead and crack your front pipe. Okay, crack your rear pipe. Good. And uh, fire up. So that's the level. We would make sure the actors are comfortable if they had to be close. Stunts are comfortable, or there may be a camera operator who's going to be right next to this fire. So fire out from now, Bill. So that we all are in agreement safety-wise that that's how much fire we need to sell the shot or get as uh, hackers or stunt people as close as possible. The next thing we're going to do is this device here is an air uh, an air mortar, if you will. It's charged with compressed air. If we were to blow dust or cork or any kind of light debris out a window, we can always still use that by putting fuel in there, the same product, put propane in there, and it's a very defined measurement to see how big a fireball will be because it may only make a difference in a couple of pounds of pressure, depending on where stunts or what the actors are going to be in close proximity to them. So in this case, we would start off by doing a purge. We'll do a five pound purge. Uh, Bill, go ahead and give us a pilot on the front pipe only. Good. So at that point, I'll have Jennifer, uh, we'll put in five PSI on that size tank, just five PSI pressure. Back to the button. Once everybody's attention is had, we'll go ahead and go hot. And I'll just call out three, two, one, fire. And that's what five psi is. It's a benchmark so we know where we're going. At this point, we're going to go up to 15 psi. Let's charge the 15. Things we would take in consideration is which way is the wind blowing, things of that nature. Because if we have actors that are going to be downrange, and we can tell, number one, by the smoke blowing that way, but if the fireball is going, it's going to be a heat wash over uh, either the crew or the actors. 15. George, 15. Go hot. Hot button. 3, 2, 1, fire. Ooh. So that's 10 more PSI. <laughs> so we're going to go to 20 PSI. Oh. Everybody awake now? Yeah. <laughs> So the same will happen, that will be a percentage bigger. You can see that it's going to dissipate. You might feel some heat on you or some smoke, but it's not going to go any farther than this area. Charge to 20. Charge to 20. Stand by to go hot. So the way this will go on camera, we'll make sure all the cameras are rolling. We'll be piloting. Bill, bring up your rear pilot now. I'm in Chicago, LA. Got it. So once the cameras have slated and everybody's in position, stunts and the actors are ready to go, they've rolled cameras. The next thing is balls back in our court. We started our smoke device under the engine. Um, I will say, and go hot. Bill, fire up. And on my cue, three, two, one, fire. And the scene will play out as needed. And then it will call for fire out, and Bill will turn off the valves, and anything that's collaterally burning there, Greg from Chicago Fire in this case will come up and make sure that uh, anything unpredictable has been put out.
So then they will either move on to the next scene or recycle and go again and, it, and just keep repeating the action. The next version may very likely be now that the stunt guys have jumped out of the way, to put the actors in close proximate and maybe go back down to that 15 or even a 10 PSI, again with the approval of where stunts thought they could be safer. Well, as the cast members, as you see them on the show battling a fire with a hose line, John and his team are letting the fire win for a while and backing it off and eventually letting the firefighters win is how we film week after week.